and weapons seems to be used in many different aspects now, from brick and mortar, public library, to the digital library. All libraries are changing, and the dynamic places where libraries help people to find the best sources of information, whether it's a book, a website, or a database entry. So, library is an organization of records of human thoughts. Libraries play an important role in the social, economic, and cultural educational development of society. Social institution library preserves knowledge to make people knowledgeable and civilized. The society requires an effective educational system. This system requires systematic use of published reading materials. Uh, ever since we started the National Digi Digital Library of India Club, the NDLI Club, here at Don Bosco College Tura, with uh, Dr. Bishwajit Paul as the coordinator and the resource person for the NDI NDLI Club of the college, we have all the wanting to have a kind of training for all other librarians and lecturers of other colleges so that they also are able to form the NDLI Club at their own respective colleges. The reasons for this is that there is so much of resources available, whether it is online, whether it is in a cloud base, for our students to make use of it. And this is what we want to, that all the students of colleges, and even of higher secondary schools, but right now it's only of their colleges, later on we will also have a training like this for other librarians of higher secondary schools, we want to impart and to give this knowledge so that they are able to help the students to also get into the NDLI club and then from there get the resources that are available for them, making use of the e-resources, e-books for their own growth and preparing themselves for the future. Just to let you know that when we started the NDLI club, there are many things that we need to do. First of all, in one year that they have given us the certification. Uh, we have to renew the certification every one after a year. And we are asked to conduct at least 10 programs. And then later on, to also enroll around 100 members to be the club members. But in our college, with the hard work of the NDLI club members, we are able to conduct more than 10 programs and then enroll around 1,000 uh, 1, students. Just to say that 1,000 students are able to make use of the e-books, e-library that are there through being part of this NDLI club. And we want to disseminate this uh, information to other colleges also so that they are able to help their students. That is one important aspect why we want to have this um, workshop in order to enlighten all of you. Please put your hands together. from Shillong to help us out in this workshop. Library is a huge resource. We all appreciate this, we all know this. 
And uh, without library, an institution would shudder to think. We cannot think of any institution without a library. Library is a must in any institution. In fact, library is very important for any place. And that is how you see in all the towns and cities, we have libraries. In Tura also we have a library. In Shillong also the Central Great Central Library. So there are libraries. So one must understand, and the very purpose of this program is that uh, you see, to disseminate this knowledge, that importance of library to everyone. Yes, those of us who are here, uh, the participants and the resource person, we already know that how much library is important. But our objective is to disseminate this knowledge to the up upcomings. That means the students who are coming in the future, the young generation, the youth. So for them, it's, it's very important that we should let them know how this library is important. In due course of time, what has happened is library has taken different shapes, different forms. Earlier, library was in the form of books. We used to go, I remember myself, when I was in school or in college, we used to go to the school library, we used to go to the college library, we used to sit in the central library, state central library in Shillong, and then we used to sit there for quite some time to get some information for our studies, for different types of activities. Things have changed now. Things have changed now. Now the library is in the hand, in, in one device. So that traditional form of library is slowly getting, uh, is getting, giving some space. I will not say that it is becoming obsolete, but it is giving some space to the new form of library that is a digital library. And that is why this program has been conceived. This thought of this program has been conceptualized, that how the digitalization of the library is uh, to be taken by the students, how we can help them uh, in their endeavor for their pursuit of higher studies. That is the idea. To all of us, to me, myself, to all of us, one thing should be very clear, that uh, whatever knowledge we have, whatever information we have, we must understand, and we are to be humble here, that it is never enough. And we must have uh, that, that gut feeling that we have to occupy this, uh, uh, this gap of knowledge with the, we have to choose our ignorance, where, is, where we are ignorant. See, we have to choose our ignorance, and after choosing our ignorance, we have to fill that space with whatever knowledge we can get. I think uh, this is a very significant step, in fact, a milestone to ensure that this college and all other institutions across Garrow Hills uh, stays at par with all the other world-class institutions. E-library is not confined to just schools and colleges. I've been to cities. Whenever we go to coffee shops, you get an e-library corner there. Take 10% discount. You have to read one e-book, and that's it. So that's how uh, e-library is getting a momentum across the world. And I think this event will certainly uh, ensure that this spreads across all nooks and corners of Gara Hills. Uh, friends, uh, I think uh, everyone, most of us uh, who are all from here, from Gara Hills, will agree that in the past, maybe 30 years back, uh, like we, everyone here used to read uh, newspapers which are like uh, three or four days old because all these newspapers used to come from either Guwahati or from Shillong. So internet was not there then. So we, like even the Telegraph, uh, the Calcutta edition used to come four days late to either to Tura or to Ilamnagar. So that was the trend in those days. Things have changed since then. Technology has just uh, kind of breach the gap between the developed and the underdeveloped. And I see there is no reason why we can't have this uh, world-class, uh, uh, whatever, innovations uh, sitting here in Tura. Because uh, I think uh, technology uh, doesn't uh, discriminate. Uh, it dis doesn't discriminate between the haves and the have-nots or the rich and the poor. It kind of bridges everything and ensures levels everything between the developed and the underdeveloped. 
So I think this development of e-library is a big milestone. And I think this is uh, keeping in line with the vision of the founding fathers of this college, Don Bosco, to have a world-class institution in Tura. So this, certainly this e-library is a uh, new feather in the cap for this college. Uh, somehow, I don't know, I have been very passionate about technology, uh, especially with the letter E, because everywhere you go, you come across the letter E these days, with e-learning, e-business, uh, e-library, e and then a lot many things start with E these days. We deal with E these days. Because uh, I think there's nothing beyond E which we cannot think of. So this T, E has certainly changed the entire edu learning landscape in the entire world. We stay connected through E, whatever, ha uh, every little happening that takes place. Now we get in the form of breaking news or in the form of just at a click of a mouse. So I think it's helping us get connected. Sitting in Tura, I no longer feel backward. I no longer feel left behind compared to USA and Europe. So that is how this technology has really developed. And I think uh, it's a very uh, wonderful thing to have this event being organized here. And I hope all the participants here will take advantage of this and ensure that all your doubts stand clarified and spread this message across Garo Hills. The library committee uh, plays a very important part. Library committee, they have to take decisions on the funding of the library, then the heart of uh, what, about the, what collections we should have, and what journals we should subscribe. So they make uh, policies. They make policies, they decide, and they adopt a lot of funds. And as a librarian, where our duty is to allow, to give the information to all the, uh, uh, all the uh, departments. So now, the collection, which, uh, we as a librarian, I'm also working as a librarian, uh, I'm also uh, teaching with the Department of Forestry and Agriculture. So the library committee take decisions. So we should have the committee, we, in the Look, since it is all affiliated to you, uh, we, uh, the principal is the chair, the chairperson, the chairman, and we have teachers, we have the librarians, and even we uh, have some experts from one, two, or the same who take uh, great policies and decides what not, what to do and what not. So this is how the library committee, uh, librarians sometimes can't stand alone. Because sometimes, as a librarian, expectation is there that the library should have this, and all everything would be provided by the library. So uh, that's the only reason why I choose this topic. But then everybody uh, is involved in this. Uh, we are conducting one uh, one-day workshop uh, for the uh, teachers, uh, faculty, and uh, librarians of colleges of uh, Garo Hills. Uh, the purpose of this workshop is to enlighten the teachers and also the librarian uh, about the digital, digitalization of the libraries and uh, they are going to attend this workshop and then going back to their institution uh, to disseminate the knowledge that they will gather here. One of the purposes of this uh, workshop is to also let the people know about NDLI, that is National Digital Library of India. This is a concept that was developed by the government of India and uh, uh, ultimately it was executed by IIT Kharagpur. So in this, uh, uh, in this uh, National Digital Library of India, what is being done is uh, that uh, the, 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 the students are asked to become the member. Once they become the member, then they can access the ad, uh, dearth of knowledge uh, as a form of e-resource. Uh, because uh, sometimes it is not possible for the students to always attend the library. And this digital platform gives them, give them some space uh, to attend the library uh, even from home. So here there is no paucity of time and space. Uh, so anywhere, everywhere they can access this library. 
and then they can get these resources. And it is a huge uh, repository of knowledge uh, from all spheres, from uh, arts, from science, from commerce, from all management, from all spheres, uh, it's a huge repository of knowledge. So that is the purpose of this workshop today, to enlighten the concept of NDLI to the uh, faculty and librarians that they have come from different colleges of Garo Hills, so that they can go to their respective colleges and disseminate this knowledge of uh, NDLI. Thank you. Thank you.